Hey guys, Melissa here with LovableLoops.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to crochet my skeleton hat. I'm going to be doing this in a child size. If you check the description box below, you'll find the link for the written pattern on my website. The sizes for zero three months and adult or through adult are available there in written form. For this tutorial, you're going to need black and white worsted weight yarn, an I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, an H 5.0 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a tapestry needle. For this tutorial, you will need to know how to make your magic ring, how to double crochet, and how to single crochet. Okay, to begin, you're going to start with a magic ring. And you're going to make two chains. And then inside your magic ring, you're going to make 11 double crochet. This hat is worked from the top down, so we are forming the very top of the hat. And tighten up that ring a little bit. Okay, so I have two, four, six, seven. This is my chain here, so that does not count as one of the stitches. Okay, so so far I have two, four, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Go ahead and tighten up that ring. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Okay, to begin round two, you're going to join with the slip stitch in the top of that first double crochet. To begin round two, from there you're going to chain two, and in each stitch all the way around you're going to make two double crochet. That includes the stitch that you joined to. Okay, so I have my first two double crochet made in that one stitch. Okay, and then two stitches in the next stitch. So all the way around, two double crochet. See how that looks. Sorry for the lighting. It's a little earlier in the morning. Okay, so all the way around, two double crochet in each stitch. So at the end of round two, you will have 22 stitches. I recommend counting them to check. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Okay, to begin round three, you're going to join to the top of that first stitch with a slip stitch. <clears throat> And to begin round three, you're going to chain two. You're going to make two double crochet in that first stitch. And in the next stitch, you're going to make one double crochet. Okay, so first two and then one. That is our pattern that you're going to repeat for the remainder of the round. So now start the next um, pattern. Repeat, two stitches two double crochet, and then double crochet once in the next stitch. 
Okay, so our pattern is two, one, two, one. So in this next stitch here, I'm going to double crochet two, and then one double crochet in the next stitch. And then the next stitch I'll make two, and in the next stitch I'll make one. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of round three, and you can count your rounds, you can see very clearly round one, two, and then this is round three. At the end of round three, you will have 33 stitches. Go ahead and join with the slip stitch, chain two, and for round four, your first stitch you're going to make two double crochet, and then in the next two stitches you're going to double crochet once. Okay, so I have two, one, one. So in the next stitch, I'm going to make two double crochet again. And then in the next two stitches, I will double crochet once. Okay, so you can see our pattern. Two, one, one, two, one, one. Okay, and just repeat that for the remainder of the round.
at the end of round four, you will have 44 stitches. You're gonna go ahead and join with the slip stitch. For round five, you're going to chain two, make two double crochet in your first stitch. And in the next 10 stitches, you'll make one double crochet. Think that was 10 so here we have two our first two so there's two double crochet in the first stitch and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now that is our pattern for this round in the next stitch you'll make two double crochet and in the 10 stitches after that you'll make one double crochet Okay, so I have my two, two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, in the next stitch, I'll make two double crochet. And then in the next ten stitches, you'll make one double crochet. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're going to repeat this one more time. Two double crochet in the next stitch, and then in the last ten, you'll make one double crochet. Okay, you can see it doesn't lay quite as flat as it did before because for this last round, we only made um, four increases. So we only increased it by four stitches. So at the end of round five, you should have 48 stitches. And you can see the rounds here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, for round six, go ahead and join with a slip stitch. Chain two. You'll make two double crochet in that first stitch. And then in the next 11 stitches, you'll make one double crochet.
Okay, so I have two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, now two double crochet in the next stitch. And then one double crochet in the next eleven. So two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, in the next stitch you'll make two double crochet. And in the next eleven stitches you'll make one double crochet. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. We're gonna make two double crochet in that next stitch. Oops. And then double crochet in the last eleven stitches. Okay, at the end of round six, you should have 52 stitches. Go ahead and count them. If you make a mistake, it's easier to fix it now. Okay, for round seven, we're going to um, go ahead and join. You're going to chain two. You're going to make two double crochet in that first stitch. And in the next 12 stitches, you're going to make one double crochet. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, I probably shouldn't have counted by twos, that's confusing. We have two double crochet in that first stitch, and then I double crocheted once in the next twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So now in my next stitch, I will make two double crochet. And then in the next 12, I will double crochet once. Now 
been counting. <laughs> okay. Here's my two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You'll make two double crochet in that next stitch. And then you'll double crochet once in the next twelve. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One more. Twelve. Okay. Now you're going to make two double crochet in the next stitch. Okay. And then the next twelve you'll double crochet once. You just completed round seven. You should have 56 stitches. Go ahead and count them to be sure. For round eight, you're going to join, chain two. You'll make two double crochet in that first stitch. And then in the next 13 stitches, you'll make one double crochet. I think that was 13. I have my two double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Great. Two double crochet in that next stitch. And then one double crochet in the next 13. So I have me two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Two double crochet in that next stitch. Okay, and then double crochet once in the next thirteen stitches.
two here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, in the next stitch you're going to make two double crochet. And in the next 13 stitches, or the last 13 stitches, you'll double crochet once. Alright, at the end of round 8 you should have 60 stitches. Go ahead and join and chain 2 to begin round 9. Round 9 is the last round where we will be making increases. Increases is what makes the crown of the hat larger. From then we'll just be crocheting once in each stitch and we'll just make the length of the hat after. So, to begin round 9, chain 2. In that first stitch, you're going to make two double crochet. And in the next 14 stitches, you'll double crochet once. Lost count. So I have made two here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So one more. And fourteen. All right. So now in your next stitch, you'll make two double crochet. And in the next fourteen, you'll double crochet once. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Okay, and then do the next one. Two double crochet. And then again in the next fourteen, you double crochet once. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Make two double crochet in the next stitch. 
And then in the next 14, you're making one double crochet. At the end of round nine, you should have 64 stitches. Okay, so we are done increasing our rounds. And if you look at your hat from the side, you can see where the rounds are. So this is round one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay? To begin round 10, join your yarn, chain two, and you're going to make one double crochet in every stitch all the way around. One double crochet.
the end of round 10, you will still have 64 stitches. We didn't do any increases. Go ahead and join with a slip stitch. Okay, so what we just did for round 10, that's what you're going to do for the next nine rounds. So for rounds 11 through 19, you're going to do the same thing. You're gonna chain two and double crochet once in each stitch all the way around. At the end of each of those rows, you should still have 64 stitches. So we're not doing any more increases. At this point, this is our hat. This is how wide, this is the crown size that will fit a child. We are now making the length of the hat so that it is long enough to fit a child. So for rounds 11 through 19, go ahead and do those on your own, just like we just did round 10. And I will meet back up with you to show you how to do the last round. Okay, so I actually stopped at round 17 rather than stopping at round 19 because for a child size hat, you want the length to be between seven and eight inches. And I found that when I got to um, round 17, I was already pretty close to eight inches and I still have one more round to do of single crochet. So I don't know if it's because my tension has changed because of my crochet technique has changed or if it's simply because this yarn, even though it's a worsted weight, is on the thicker end. But this is a little bit different from my pattern on, on my website. So the written pattern for the child size will tell you to do 19 rounds. I chose just to do 17 um, for this tutorial because of the way this yarn thickness is. But if yours isn't long enough yet, you want to make sure that you crochet until it's between 7 and 8 inches long. So now to begin our last round, this is going to be the final round of the hat, chain 1, and then you're going to single crochet once in each stitch all the way around. And I find that this just gives the hats a more finished look at the bottom. So all the way around, just single crochet. Okay, after you complete your single crochets, go ahead and join, pull that yarn through, cut it. Go ahead and weave in your ends now if you want to. Okay, now we need to make the eyes for the skeleton hat, or your skeleton hat. So we're gonna be switching to our black yarn, and you're also going to switch to an H five millimeter crochet hook. So first thing we need to do is make two of the eyes. So to make the eyes, go ahead and make a magic ring. And I apologize, black is a little bit harder to see on camera. And you're going to chain two, and you're going to make nine double crochet inside the magic ring. you have your magic ring with your nine double crochet pull that ring tight so shut the I guess shut the circle and then you're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet for round two you're going to chain two you're going to make two double crochet in that same stitch that you joined to and then you're going to make two double crochet in each of the other eight stitches okay so for round two, you make two double crochet in each stitch. At the end of round two, you will have 18 stitches. Let me see if you can see that. I'm making two double crochet in each stitch. I apologize for my squeaky yarn.
Okay, go ahead and join with a slip stitch. And then you can cut your yarn, your yarn tail here. I would leave a well, like a long yarn tail because you want to be able to use it to crochet the eye onto the hat, okay? All right, so you're going to go ahead and make one more of those. Remember, first round is nine double crochet, second round, two double crochet in each of those stitches. You'll end up with 18 double crochet, okay? So make one more eyeball. Okay, so I now have my two eyeballs made. What you want to do is you want to lay them onto the front of your hat and determine where you want to sew them on, okay? So I have mine, it looks like maybe about midway down because remember the crown of the hat is going to be on the head, so this might even be like the forehead area. So keep that in mind when you're sewing the eyes on. You might want to move them down a little bit or consider it, okay? All right, and then also decide how much space you want to have between them. So for me, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows above where the top of the eyeball will get sewn onto. So you're going to thread your yarn onto a tapestry needle, and then you're going to just sew it onto the hat. And I like to work back and forth through those uh, the tops of those double crochets there. When you are um, sewing the eyes on, be careful that you don't push your um, needle all the way through. If you push it through and you don't just grab it without looking, you might push it through both layers of the hat. So be careful, you're just sewing it onto the front. Okay, now this is the um, yarn tail from the center, so I'm just gonna move that out of my way as I go, and then I use it to tie the two pieces to each other. So it's gonna be hard to show this exactly on camera, so I'm just gonna do my best here. So I go in, up, the next stitch and then I'll pass it back through the next stitch. I think that's kind of hard to see but I basically just work my way back and forth all the way around. Check it every once in a while. You want to make sure that you're not doing anything funky. Um, okay, so I'm going back through this next stitch here. All right, so I don't know if it's very beneficial for you to see that on camera, but you just work your way all the way around and then pass this end to the back and you can tie them to each other and then you just thread in, weave in your ends. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do these two eyeballs off camera and then I'll show you um, again how to do the um the nose and the mouth okay okay so I actually decided I wanted to show you the back of my eyeball so I've only done the one um but here are my two ends so this is the one I was working with that this is the one that is attaching the eyeball to the hat this is the other end that came from the center I just wove it back and now I'm just going to tie these off gently you do not want to pull too tight okay they don't it doesn't need to be the most secure knot ever. It's not likely it's gonna come undone. Um, so don't, don't scrunch up the yarn. And then you're gonna weave in your ends and what I usually do is I pass it through under the white stitches. It is not going all the way through. So my needle is actually, this yarn is gonna end up between the eyeball and the back side of this um, patch. Okay, just pull it through like that and then I'll just snip it off there. Okay, just do the same thing with this one. And then um, go ahead and sew on your other eye and then I'll meet up with you to show you how to do the uh, nose and the smile. Okay, so next I like to do the mouth and I'm gonna show you how I do that. So go ahead and thread your black yarn onto your tapestry needle and I'm going to decide over here on the side of my uh, eyeball where exactly I want to position. So if I have the yarn going in here, I'm gonna have it come down at a slight angle and then flat on the bottom and then back up this way. So here's how I do it. So I'll pass my yarn through to the other side. Okay. And then 
from the other side, I'm going to pass it back up. So I want it going at an angle, so I'm going to move down two stitches like that. Okay, and now what I'll do is I will go back, backwards. So my yarn is on the right side. I'm going to send it back through the previous, um, where the yarn first went in. Okay, so now I have my first section and my yarn is on the inside of the hat again. So once again, I'm going to move down two more, pull it back through towards you, and be careful you don't pull this too tight. And then again, you're going to pass it back through the previous hole. Okay? So you keep doing that. Sometimes it'll get, oh, it get snagged on the inside. Yeah, you gotta be careful. And actually, I should move this out of the way. So I have not cut the yarn yet. I'm not exactly sure how much I will need. So this is from when I first sent it through from the front to back, okay? So here's where it will start. I'm going to have it go down, and now I'm going to work my way over. So I think if I move over two stitches, it'll turn it inwards a little bit. Pull it back through the previous. Okay, good. I'm happy with how that looks. So now I'm going to continue until I get to the same um, uh, placement on the eyeball. Okay, so here I will do one, two, three. I'll jump three stitches at a time. Again, careful you don't pull it too tight. Pass it back through the previous hole. Underneath, one, two, three. Pass it back up towards me. Okay, make sure it's not too tight. Yeah, make sure also that nothing's tangled so everything looks good. Okay, pass it back. Okay. One, two, three. Pass it back. Okay, and if I do one, two, three again, I actually think that'll be a pretty good spot to move up. Okay, so pass it back. All right. Now, to match this side of the smile, I'm going to jump up a row, up one and over one, okay? So I'm going to pass it. Yeah, okay, that's good. And then pass it back through the previous section. There we go. Okay, then I'm going to move up and over. Pass it back. And then I need to go up to, so up two more. And that should be about the same distance from the eyeball. Pass it back. Okay, so there we have our smile. And since you can see the black yarn through the hat, I'm not going to work this up, that same piece of yarn, and make the nose, because you'll probably see that behind the um, white yarn. So what you want to do now is we had... Um, Oh, excuse me, we have to go through and make the stitches. Almost forgot about that part. Okay, so now your yarn is still on the inside of the hat, so you're simply going to just use it to stitch back and forth. Okay, so I'm now I'm going to the sides of the mouth, okay? So when I go back, I go over the front, back in, and then I'll just do that back and forth, okay? So now I'm back on this side. So my yarn is over here, so it's crossing over to the other side. And you want to make them on um, different lengths so they look like stitches. Okay. a smaller one here. 
And again, don't pull too tight. because you want it to be able to stretch when you put the hat on. Oops, yeah, and I don't want to do the same row there. I don't want it to look too uniform, so I'm gonna go through the middle here. Be very careful you don't pull it too tight. Okay, so I'm running out of my yarn here, so I'm going to just pull my tapestry needle off of that and I'm gonna use from this working yarn. So I'm gonna cut it here, thread my needle on. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just go behind that stitch there and pass it to the back. If I pass it back through the hole it comes out of, it'll unravel itself, okay. And then hold this end out of your way. This is the one that was attached to the yarn we were just using. And work this yarn down. So you use this to make stitches. Coming down the sides, probably just need a couple there. But it will all depend on um, how much black yarn you had to use. Oops. Okay, I think this will be the last one. All right, so I'm very happy with how that looks. I'm gonna flip my hat inside out. Okay. All right, I am just going to loop this around under those and then just tie it off in a knot very gently. You can actually squeeze the knot and pull because you don't want anything to be too tight. And then I'm just going to weave it under that back side of that white stitch there. Okay? Just loosely because you don't want to see it from the front. And then I'll do the same thing here. So I'm just going to tie this in a knot to itself using those stitches there. And then I'm going to pass this one this way. Make sure you can't see it from the front. Okay, here we go. All right. Snip that. Okay. Flip your hat. Oh, while you're in there, you can actually take care of the top of your hat. Here's what I like to do for the top. Okay, so here's the working yarn. I like to thread it under two of the stitches next to it. And then I like to send it to the front of the hat and then back up on the side there just to make this more secure. And then in the stitch next to it, I tie it in a knot to itself. and then just weave it in. Okay. I hope I didn't go off camera for that. All right. All right, all we have left now is the nose. So you just need, um, you don't need a super long piece of yarn. I'm gonna use this for the nose. Okay, so the nose is just two little lines between the center of the eyes down here. So I'm gonna make mine, you want them fairly close together so it looks more skeletal. So I think I'll use these two points here. Okay, so on this side, I'm gonna pass my yarn, pull it through. Okay, so I have, let me pull that. So I have this yarn tail sticking up here, okay? I'm gonna go straight down, send my yarn back towards me. 
and then it's going to go back into this hole here, okay? From there, I'm going to send my yarn back up right next to the first part, right here. Send it down, go straight down the stitch. Okay. Take this uh, tapestry needle, take the um, yarn off, thread in that first yarn tail. You're going to send it back just behind that stitch so that you don't really see it, okay? You don't want to send it through the same hole, you'll unravel your work. Just send it back like that so that you don't see it going to the back. There we go. Okay, so that's what it looks like from the front. And then all you need to do is go on the inside. And then you can just tie them to each other gently. You definitely don't want this to be too tight. Okay, the likelihood of that coming undone is very small, and then I'm just gonna clip my ends there. Okay, so turn it back right side out, and there you have it, your Jack Skellington hat, super easy. The written pattern on my website is for sizes zero, three months through adult. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I have plans to make lots of other tutorials for you guys. All right. Thank you.